VH1 MTV band kids, I think, there in the, in the horizon. So, and give it course, up, kids. Great job. Of course, Mark Burnett and his Bruce Mobile Monster Energy Freestyle Motocross Tour. Those guys were amazing. Nick That's right. Not to be confused with the Mark Burnett who does Survivor, though. That's a different and Mark. Apprentice. And Apprentice. And Apprentice. That's a different Mark. So, uh, once again, thanks for all the fans coming out here today. Kane, he's gonna he's gonna actually have the helmet mic on this time with the helmet earphones. So if he doesn't hear you making noise, he's he's going back to the van. He's gonna go take a nap and he's done. Like he said, he already got paid. He doesn't care. He's done. But he also wants to make sure that you know that you know 16 tickets in three years, four years, something like that. Bad, bad Kane. Uh, yeah, this is not the years ago. This is not the last three years, by the way. I think we should clarify because uh, we'd like to keep our relationship with Monster Energy, Kawasaki, Geico, and all the lovely sponsors. Right. Well, he's sponsored by Geico now, and they want him to talk about the responsibility of being responsible street rider. So don't be going down the I-5, the 905, the 15, the 8, you know, fast lane, waiting to see. I see you guys all the time, man. I go, here it comes. Here it comes. Big wheelie, you know. The most miles an hour. Just on the Walmart, 3 a.m. in the parking lot when no one's around. Right? Or maybe you can talk to Alan uh, Ted and maybe they'll let you use uh, this line when Kane's not using it. I'm telling you, we can get some flavors. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh. Well, this is the biggest parking lot of any motorcycle dealership in San Diego, and it may be actually in the state. I mean, you can put a semi there, as you can see. And the loading dock over there makes it easy to load and unload the bike, so if you need service done over there, bike, boom, you back it up, boom, roll it out, you're good to go. So, yeah, and, I do, the things, and I do have to say that, because we do a lot of dealership shows, Kane's on the road, the entire year doing dealership shows, we never ever have more fun, we'll tell our other dealers, but we never have more fun than when we come out here in South Bay. The biggest party by far in any dealership across the country. This dealership is tits. It is the show, okay? Seriously. Show, sure, dude. You think I want to wear this? And they make me go get it. You haven't been paid yet. That's where you're wearing the tuxedo. No, 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 no. They make me wear this. They want me to wear a top hat. That's where I drew the line. Yeah, but you, well, you wear pink well, dude. Thank you. And so does Carrie Hart, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? He wants to hear some shout-outs. Yeah. Top left, no, top left, top left. Oh, there we go. We lost over that feedback. Josh, you're going to play a sound man on this one. Third year I've been here in San Diego for the South Bay Grand Open. This is awesome. You guys having a fun time? Not many dealerships do this for their customers. None at all really like this. Free hot dogs, you got bands, you got people doing backflips and stuff. And then you got me out here doing some stuff like that. Silly human tricks. I'm on ZX8, I'm on ZX8. You guys loving it or what? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, you guys are awesome. That's the reason I come down here for you guys right here. Let's talk a little bit quickly about safety. I wreck a lot. Let me tell you. That's, I mean, that's why I got Geico as a sponsor because I couldn't afford the insurance myself. I'm telling you. They, I fall all the time. I think you'd do a rocket if I didn't have my helmet on. I'd be dead several times over. Can, can we get a stunt where you and the lizard are doing something the on gecko, the bike? It's not the gecko. The lizard. The gecko. It's a lizard. First thing to tell you when you get sponsored by Geico is it's a gecko, not a lizard. Don't make the mistake. But they don't tell the lizard family. We really don't know if he's Australian or English. It's a whole other marketing ploy. Anyways, so let's talk about that safety. See that nice little blue Polaris pendant line in front of you? Not really gonna do much when my bike comes at you. And let me tell you, if your grandma calls right now and you turn your back to talk to grandma on the cell phone, you're taking the ZX6 right up the backside. This is not gonna feel good. So 375 pounds of the ZX6. Which is the lightest of the 600 class, don't get me wrong, but it's still big enough to take you out. So keep an eye on me at all times. Please, you're not gonna offend me if you walk away to talk to grandma. Secondly, if I'm not on the bike and you see it coming towards the crowd, that's not part of the stunt show. So get the hell out of the way. Get the hell out of the way. Haul ass. Exactly. Other direction quickly. It's like a tornado. Don't try to all over. Just move to the side. 
I grew up in Texas. Maybe, maybe that isn't you guys. I don't know. Anyways, all right. So let's get that safety portion out of the way. But let me talk about this 2009 brand new Kawasaki ZX6R Ninja I got over here. It's the highest rated horsepower 600 cc sport bike motorcycles magazine has ever tested at 135 horsepower to crank on stock, which means it smashes on that Jixxus 750 of only two years ago on the 600 level. It's kind of a Badass, but like, oh, this guy. He's saying, no, no, please don't tell me what Jigsaw is. Hardcore Jigsaw. Yeah, but Kate, they've been making ninjas 83, 85, 85. Since I'm on my jacket, kicking that 85. 84. I think it's 84. 84, yeah. I can't read it. No, I remember the summer of 84. Yeah. I was three. I was 23. All right. So my favorite part about this Ninja ZX6 isn't even the fact that it has the 53 millimeter big piston forks, which is badass, or the fact that it's the lightest, or the fact that it's got the most horsepower. It's the fact that it has a 17,000 RPM red line. That is just awesome. I love hearing that 17,000 RPM red line. And the best part about that is Yamaha tried that a couple years back. They called it a recall. I'm just saying. Anyways, ride wherever you guys like to ride. Be safe when you're doing it. Don't practice the stunts on the 905, the 805, the 15. Even on uh, Main Street over here, you're going to get yourself arrested. Let me tell you, speak. I'm speaking from experience. I've been handcuffed many times and there are too many tickets to tell you. The only reason I'm still able to ride a motorcycle is because I do it in little safe spots right here where the cops can't get me. You know what I mean? So guys, we're riding people. Don't do it on the streets. You will go to jail. And California, they take your bike for like 30 days if they catch you doing a wheelie. How many reckless drivers we got out there? How about some other people? I know a lot of you guys are wild. And every person here who rides a motorcycle, we got some motorcycle riders, right? Hey, give it up if you ride a motorcycle, guys. Come on. That's why we're here today, man. Because we ride. You can see it in the earth. Y'all love it. You just try to do a wheelie at some point and you know it to be true. I'm gonna try to Sometimes you hear me drop certain words I shouldn't when I mess around. What's the talk about when you got a bike in Texas? WCF? WCF. WCF. Alright. Hey, Kate. You want to see some summer riding? Alright, we do. Yeah, but Kate, real quickly, before we get started on a serious note, you guys that are parking in the B in the middle section out here on Auto Park Place. Oh, the cops, the cops have been notified now, told me, they are bringing tow trucks. So if you guys are parked out there, please, we don't want to see your cars get towed away. There's plenty of parking on top. The public actually can park the parking lot across the street. There's no way over there. Come on, Ryan. So I don't think they're going to care. We can take the CBR, though. That's okay. Okay. The CBR. <laughs> so, all right. I just want to let you guys know. All right. So, okay. Let's get started. Yeah, buddy. Give it up for me. All right. Give it up. Yeah. Yeah. We got some big fat stoppies. Stoppies are the nose wheel. That is my favorite trick. Maybe it's because I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for it. At 137 miles an hour in the front end of my ZX-10R in 2006. Which means no one's even tried my record since. Oh, what's what's he who the hell's crazy enough to start at 180 miles an hour and start that trick? I'm waiting for somebody to own a beat it, but I can do it. That's not profitable. Then we're going to do some big fat Pirelli smoky burnout. So a little bit of riding backwards and I'm going to hand that whole bit. Do you guys want to see some wheelies or what? Yeah! I want to see you blow up that back tire. It's a brand new one. I know, let's blow it up. Oh, I almost got myself a tire. Here you go. Thank you, Josh. All right, let's just really warm up. All right, let's get in there. 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 Let's get in on this bike, so these two are just kind of getting to know each other. They're still in the honeymoon phase of this relationship. Shaking thing he's got going on. What does he call that trick? The ass shaker, money maker. Boy, Josh is all nice. You got some music? I love the way he finesses that bike. I mean, he is 